Hello everyone, welcome back. So I will be continuing with the same topic, effective written communication. So I have been explaining the elements of written communication. I had already explained the first two elements. Now I will be explaining you the third element of written communication that is the content, what you are writing about. So your content also plays a very important role in written communication you have to first of all carefully uh, write it down everything you have to be able to convert your thoughts into words you have to be clear regarding your objective you have to be able to write all the details properly so that the reader can understand it you also have to be grammatically correct you have to be correct you cannot make any mistakes your spellings must be correct you must uh, use correct punctuation and you must write it correctly and you cannot make any grammatical mistakes so you are supposed to take care of these things when you are writing, when you write the message, when you write the information. And you also have to check whether you have listed the essential points that you wanted to share or not. Whether you could have, whether you can, uh, whether you have uh, written down everything or not that you had thought of sharing that you had actually thought of sharing so encoding is very important here you have to be able to express your thoughts properly with the help of words you have to be able to convert your ideas into words properly so that the other person can understand so this is all about content now i'm going to uh, discuss a little about the advantages and uh, disadvantages of written communication so first of all I will be talking about uh, when you should use written communication what are the advantages of written communication so the first point is when you want to keep a permanent record written communication is the best mode of communication because in oral communication you won't be able to keep any record in written communication you will be able to keep permanent records when you are communicating with a large audience you can communicate with the help of written communication because you cannot go and tell everyone isn't it you cannot go and tell everyone personally or you cannot call everyone to listen to you so in that case you can just write it down and you can share the message with everyone for example if you are the manager of a company and there are thousand employees in the company and you have to share a message so what will you do the best way is to write a circular the best way is to circulate the message with the help of a circular so that all the members of the organization receives the information so that is why whenever you have to communicate with large audience you can use the written mode of communication when you need less interaction with the audience then you can communicate with the use of uh, written mode so whenever you do not want to interact with the audience directly whenever you do not want to have any conversation and when you don't require to have any conversation then you can just write and share the message next is to maintain uniformity of application so when you need to uh, apply uh, when you need to share messages uniformly at different places so you have to share the same messages different places at different places so the best mode is to write and communicate because when you'll say when you will communicate orally the message will keep on changing so that is why written communication is the best way of communicating when you have to maintain uniformity 
Now I'll be discussing about what are the disadvantages of written communication and when you are not supposed to use written communication in crisis. In, ta in the time of crisis, you are not supposed to use written communication. Why? Because you have to immediately share the information and when you write and communicate, it takes a little bit of time. Regarding personal discussion, when you have to discuss uh, about something uh, personal and when a personal discussion is enough, when you can discuss and sort out the problem, written communication is not necessary. Written communication can increase the problem. So in that case, you can just have a personal discussion. You can talk to the other person. Written mode is not going to work in this kind of condition. To brainstorm, to see clarifications, to generate ideas, you need to have direct conversation with people. You cannot just write and ask for ideas or clarifications. Next is to re resolve any kind of conflict. So when you write and communicate, you cannot resolve any conflict. In fact, it will, you know, uh, uh, the problem will increase. So that is why in, uh, in, uh, whenever you have to resolve a conflict, you need to directly talk with the other person. You cannot just write and try to resolve the conflict because that is going to increase the problem. In cross-cultural settings, so sometimes in cross-cultural cultural settings, uh, the words might have different meanings in different settings. So that is why uh, written communication is not that much suitable in cross-cultural settings. So these are the situations when you cannot use written communication. So that's all about um, the topic, effective written communication. Thank you so much, everyone.